Hey guys, it's Nate Zielinski. Wanted to give you your weekly update from the field for this elk sweepstakes. Uh, you know, we actually had kind of a rough week out there. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, just rough conditions. The actual animals are actually doing great. Uh, but conditions are rough. You know, we're here in Colorado. Uh, temps have been high. You know, Denver had highs of, I think, 103 this week. Uh, obviously, the mountains are much cooler than that. But regardless, it is hot and it is dry. Uh, and I think right now, as we speak, I think we have 10 fires burning here in Colorado. So uh, it's dry and the fires are actually fairly fairly close, uh, you know, within at least the, the, the valley that we're actually going to be hunting uh, with this hunt that we have coming up this fall. Um, the fire is not, uh, not a worry to the property, it's not a worry to the animals, uh, but as a hunter glassing, uh, it's been rough. Um, so we actually, you know, usually we're sitting behind spotting scopes, leave the animals be, we don't really get in there right yet. Um, you know, we kind of just watch them from afar just to make sure we don't booger them up, uh, especially during this calving time when everything's just a little bit more, uh, more tense, a little nervy as these new calves are on the ground. Uh, but regardless, long story short, the smoke is has been tough to glass, uh, so all of our long range stuff has been cut in half. You know, we're literally down to seeing a couple hundred yards. Uh, so again, we're uh, we're all in person now, and again, we don't usually do that quite this early. But regardless, I got some photos from you. Uh, so you guys got to check out these couple bulls that we saw. Um, guys, we have two great bulls. We got one bull um, that is really cool. He's got a huge whale tail, so his back end is just wide open. Uh, so I mean, just a massive whale tail on this bull, great fronts. Uh, then we have another bull that's got great everything. He's got great fronts. He's got great thirds, which is cool. Uh, and then his fifth point actually kind of kicks out. So it'll be kind of neat to see uh, where this bull goes, what he grows up into. But regardless, we had a couple of big bulls on the ground that were watching uh, in field, stuck up in there on them. Uh, and again, we got a lot of conditions. I know that uh, conditions are going to get kind of crazy for the next couple days. Then after that, I think we're going to get some moisture, hopefully, and uh, help the fire guys out and try to put this fire out, uh, put some of these fires out, I should say. Uh, and again, clear up that smoke and hopefully we can get back in the woods. But uh, again, right now, Mother's Nature a part of it. Everybody deals with the kind of stuff. Uh, Visibility is rough. Uh, again, hopefully uh, everybody's homes are safe. Hopefully all the firefighters are safe. Uh, and again, it's just the conditions that we're dealing with right now here in Colorado. But again, this is real. This is real life hunting, so that's what it is. Uh, but regardless, check out these bulls. Hope you enjoy them. Uh, again, make sure all your friends enter, guys. Uh, again, you're looking at these bulls. One of you is going to be uh, chasing these bulls. So again, tell all your family and friends. Get registered for this. Uh, it's going to be fun. And again, I think uh, the next couple days, I'm hoping by Wednesday, uh, Thursday of this coming week, hopefully we'll have better conditions. We can get back in the field, uh, show you, you know, we're seeing a lot of animals, uh, but again, we're trying not to traipse through the woods and, and get on top of all of them. So, uh, if we can get back to glass and where we can glass from afar, hopefully, we can see you know back to the 10, 20, 30 bulls, uh, you know, in a week that we're kind of been watching, uh, and get all that updated footage to you. But again, guys, I'm your guide, Nate Zelensky. Stay tuned, we'll be uh, back with more very shortly.